What up? Jason Guyman here with King of Pressure Wash. And tonight, I want to hit on something. Of, I'm going to hit on a couple things, but how to get from zero to 10,000 in a month doing pressure washing. Can you really do that? Is that really possible? Come on, Jason. Tell me the truth. Is that possible? And so I want to know if you've been here, what's the biggest month you've ever done? That is my question for now. And stick around because I'm gonna I'm in a giving mood today. Um, and so I am planning on giving something away by the end of this here. So with that, you know, these are some things that a lot of times I see people and I see people struggling. And it's like, why can this person make it, but why can't this person over here not make it? Or why are they struggling? What's some things that causing this person to struggle versus what another person? And I know sometimes it's one of those things of, well, in my area, you can't do that. And, and in your area, you're full of crap, right? Um, now, if you live in the middle of nowhere, that's different. But if you're around a big city, you know, the chances of you not being able to make 10 grand a month is pretty slim, as long as you're willing to go out and do the work. And I actually had thought about this because of a couple reasons here. And so there's a couple reasons why I was thinking about why people have a hard time going out there and doing it. And I want to hit on some of those key things. Um, what's up, Performance Power Wash? How are you doing? Awesome, awesome. We got Billy in the house. Um, awesome, what's up? And so with that, um, what, what do you think is the number one reason why people struggle? Why do people struggle to be able to hit $10,000 a month? Why? What, what, what do you think some of your reasons are? before I actually get off on my tangent here and I start hitting on it a little bit more. What's up, WRS? How are you doing? Um, the other person was born on the hustle bus. Yeah, I agree that on that one for sure. We got little pressure washing, cleaning gas stations. I think he cleans all kinds of gas stations down there um, in Tennessee, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Fear of no. <laughs> I think that's a big one for a lot of people. Ironically, I was just getting caught up on your last few videos. Good timing. Pricing is definitely one reason why they they have struggles. Nobody knows the business exists. That's that's a good point right there. That's a really good point. But let's talk about some things that we need to do to be able to get from zero to um, ten thousand dollar months. And you know, I, I'm gonna I I actually had somebody get ten thousand month their very first month, and then the next month it went drop it went it dropped off right and so we're going to talk about that too we're going to talk about the time of year right right now you might say jason it's coming winter time why do i want to start my pressure washing business now well i'm going to tell you some things you can do now so when the spring comes you'll be on the right foot instead of trying to chase your foot because you didn't do the things that you needed to do. Um, and now these are definitely some things we're going to hit on. I'm scared my customers might think my price is too high because I'm paying out of my own wallet. Um, I need to start my pressure washing business. I do a lot of truck washing. So very first thing is, is we need to, we, need, we either in or we're not, right? We either going to do this or we're not. You know, I know a lot of people do this as a hobby and, and they, they make good money, right? They make, um, shoot, I know people that do this and they make six figures a, a year and they work a couple days a week. I know people that work five, seven, eight days a week and they don't make five grand a month, right? And so we're going to talk about a lot about all of this stuff here coming up here. So Figure out your business model, right? What What is your goal? What's, what's some things that you are looking to do to have you be successful, right? What are some things that you can do to make you do it? You know, I... I had a, actually, um, actually, we had a guy come to our training last year. And, 
you know, he worked as a truck driver and he hated his job, literally hated his job. And so he came to our training and Donovan offered him a job, offered him a salary, the whole nine yards until he could get his own business up. And the dude got like a $10,000 raise at the truck and was like, I don't want to run a business. And so a lot of times I feel like people, you know, that come from a 40 hour, 40, 40 hour week, you know, you have to hustle on those times when you're not doing nothing, right? And put the 40 hours into your business. A lot of times I see a lot of people and I'm, <laughs> I'm bad about it. You know, I can, I might work 40 hours, but I'm not doing what I need to do. And I, and I'm, I'm looking at Facebook, I'm doing all these things. And, you know, now is the worst time to get into the Facebook groups. I mean, you're going to talk about cutthroat, you suck, blah, 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 blah. No negative, no positive thing comes out of Facebook groups in this time of the year, um, because they're going to tell you everything that you're stupid and everything else. And, it's just the truth. I'm, you know, it's, if the truth hurts, the truth hurts. Um, but moving forward, you know, we need to figure out our business model. What, what do we, what do we want to do? You know, do we want to do concrete cleaning and sealing? Do we want to do decks? Do we want to do roof cleaning? Do we want to just do house washing? What kind of the business model do we want? Then, you know, we need to set it up as a business. So that way it protects us. So go ahead and get your, um, you know, your business entities or get your LLCs, get your tax ID number set up. So your actual business, you know, here's the thing. You, the days of just working for cash are coming slower, is coming more and more void, right? I mean, I hate to say it, but, you know, if you're trying to do it through Vimeo, you're going to get a tax, you're going to get a tax um, bill. If you're doing it through PayPal, you're going to get a 1099 through both of those, or they're going to withhold the taxes on you. And then you're going to pay way more in taxes because of that. Um, you know, the days of trying to get away from taxes is not out there anymore. It's coming more and more, and it's probably going to come more and more within the next two years, and you're probably going to see cash not be so much prevalent out there in the, in, in, in the days. So, you know, go ahead and set up your business entity, do it right, be a business, do the things that you need to do to be successful. See, when you try to nickel and dime things, usually it costs you twice as much in the end. You know, I've seen some people talk about credit cards and fees and stuff, and they're like, oh my God, I can't pay. you know, what do I do with that 3%? You just charge it, right? You just part of be in business. Are you in a business or are we just trying to be a wannabe, right? You know, those are some things that, you know, that are, that's part of being a business, you know, and this came out of the Christmas light side of things of, well, the second year don't cost as much. Well, your gas is probably going to be higher next year. Um, I mean, um, the cost of insurance and, you know, the 3% credit card fees and all the other stuff that comes along with it is being a part of a business, right? You have to think about being a business. We are a business. You have to think that way. So when you think that way, you will be there. Get liability insurance. So that way, if you screw up something, you don't get sued a bunch. And that's something that'll help you. Um, you know, then this one is big. This one is big. First off, what is $10,000 a month? How much is $10,000 a month, right? What does it take to get to $10,000 a month? Now, I don't want you working Saturdays and Sundays. So $10,000, if we divide that by 20 days, $10,000 by divided by 20 days, that's $500, $500 a day. And if you suck at sales and you can only sell in your only average tickets, only $250, that's two jobs per day. That means we need 40 jobs. How do we get 40 jobs? How do you get 40 jobs? Well, there's a couple ways to do it. I, I love yard signs, right? Yard signs is one of my favorite things because I know it brings money, right? I know yard signs work. There's very few times that yard signs do not work. Is The only time yard signs don't work is when you don't listen to me and you put some other stupid stuff on that yard sign because you thought that was really cool to put on there and your logo looks amazing and all these other things that have nothing of that means anything. And so that's why yard signs don't work for some people. 
And so, you know, these are some things that we, we're doing, right? So how many yard signs do we need? Well, if I want to do $10,000 a month, I need to spend, you know, I need to spend a thousand dollars in marketing, right? I need to spend a thousand dollars in marketing. That's 10%. So I just looked up um, moneybushes.com, moneybushes.com, and it costs about $400 to get two sided yard signs. You don't even need two sided yard signs. You can do one sided yard sign, and it's a little bit cheaper. You can even do the recycled signs, and it's even cheaper, right? Because it's even cheaper. And guess what? We only need one side that talks about pressure washing. We don't need to do both sides. One side is all we need. So if you got you 200 signs, and I bet you if you put out 50 signs a week, I bet you, I would about bet you anywhere in this country, you will make 10 grand off of those 10 yard signs or those 200 yard signs. Now, those yard signs doesn't work sitting in your garage. Those yard signs don't work there. I, I, I'm sorry to tell you, but they don't work. Or, or when your city doesn't allow them, well, then you find the city limits and you go all the way around that that city limit, right? So anytime they come out of that city, that's where you go. And so those are definitely some things that you can do. If you can't do yard signs, well, there's other things you can do, right? There's, you know, there's Google ads. I mean, if you spent a thousand dollars a month in Google ads, you're probably really close to about a $10,000. You're probably close to about six to $10,000 a month, depending on what it is. And then, you know, we're working on referrals, we're working on word of mouth, we're working on networking, we're working on all of those things, so then that way we can get to there. Um, and so them are some ways. Let me, in the comments, let me hear what are some other ways that work has worked for you to get to the $10,000 a month. You know, Al here with um, um, Hydro Wash, you know, he, he's network. He was a gym teacher for 30 years. And so, you know, he's got a huge network of kids uh, that grow up and are adults now and they have money. And guess what? He's got a huge network. He don't even, he don't have the best website out there. He don't, he's kind of, last time I think he's kind of got lazy on yard signs, right? But he's done the things that he needs to do and he posts and he does a little bit of Facebook and all of that kind of stuff. And guess what? That's exactly it, you know, and then if you, this is a great time to do this here. So if you're up here in the north and you can't work in the wintertime, this is a great thing to do. Work on your Google My Business post and blog post. Have blog posts out there, right? Go put blog posts. Um, do one a week right now because here's the thing. It's getting winter time, and you might not have a lot of work to do. And if you've saved up a nut to, that you can get through the winter time, this is the time to work on getting all of that stuff done, right? Because when we get that stuff done, then it causes us to do other things here. I just put out my last 30 yard signs of the year last night. And since opening my pressure washing store, I just now started passing along the 3% fee. I ate few thousand dollars in the beginning um you're right jason it's a business we are all in it to make money we can still keep integrity and honor and respect but we have to keep the lights on and you know this is something too that i haven't even hit on is you know i, I talk about marketing you know in and i know you got the pressure washing store and that and you know I'm not big on equipment right out of the get-go. You know, I'd rather see you go sell some jobs and then go get equipment. Because I see so many people go out there and buy ten, twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollars worth of equipment, and then guess what? They're selling it with no time, and they've selling it at half the cost, right? And so, if you are looking for equipment, go look for a used rig right now. They're out there. They're for sale. There's a bunch of them because people don't know how to make money, and so these are definitely things that keep people from growing because they don't put the time into it. It takes time. You know, doing marketing is probably one of the hardest things to do. You know why? Because you don't see the investment right away. You might not, you know, you might write a blog post and it might not take off for three or four months. And then once it takes off, it might take a year before it really takes off, before it actually starts 
bringing in that residual money from that blog post that you wrote, right? And so those are things that we can do. You know, then once we start getting some customers, I'm going to show you something here is you can do a referral card. Look at this big giant referral card. It's as big as my head almost, right? Are you doing a referral card? Look, if you um, refer your friends and family, tell a friend, friend book with us, you get a $25 gift card, $25 gift card, right? And, and guess what else they're doing here? Check out our new services, concrete ceiling, Christmas lights installation, gutter garden installation. So we just did a pressure washing job and now we're giving them this big giant card that's nice card stock, it's not paper, it, you can hear it kind of crinkle, right? And now we're giving them this card so they can, they can go tell their friends so we can get our referrals up, so we can make more money doing referrals. Then we can also do this here to upsell different services, right? You know, concrete ceiling, that's a thousand dollar job for any job, just about the minimum is a thousand bucks. You know, if you're charging a dollar a square foot to seal it and 30 cents to clean it, we're at a dollar 30. If you're a thousand square feet, we're at $1,300. You know, that's how we get our upsells, right? Christmas site, average ticket, $1,800, $2,000. Gutter guards, average ticket, $1,800, $2,000, right? These are things that we do to upsell our customers. And then guess what's on the backside? We can get our two, if you can give us a Google review or a Facebook review, a Google review or a Facebook review, right? This is what we can do by having this card here that's serving two purposes. One is, can we get more money out of them or their friends, right? How do we get more money out of them or their friends? Or two, get us a review that someone else is going to read on us and going to give us money because they they gave us a great review, right? And so these are things that we can do to help us get more business. And this is how we pass 10,000, we hit 20,000, and we hit 30,000, and this is how we do it. Now, one thing we got to do is, is we can't be cheap. You know, I said that it takes 40 jobs at $250. What if you did <coughs> 20 jobs at $500? Think about that. And what if you do two $500 jobs a day? You're only working 10 days a month. Think about that. 10 days a month to make 10 grand. Who wants to do that? Let me answer me that. Who would like to do? Now, I know some of you are more go-getters and you want to do way more than that. But how do we do more? Just 10x what we're doing. 5x whatever we're doing, right? Putting out 200 yard signs. You know, you got to be religious about this. This isn't something that, oh, Jason just said, go put out 200 yard signs and they're going to come. You know, it's putting out 50 yard signs every week, week after week after week after week after week, right? I mean, it's it's one of those things that you got to be consistent and you got to be relentless. When you're tired and you don't want to go work, you got to go put out those yard signs. When you're tired and you don't want to do a video because you're scared, you're scared. I can't do a video. What do you mean, I mean do a video? You got to do the hard things. Can you do hard things? Absolutely, you can do hard things. I know you guys can do hard things. How do we do hard things? By doing them, right? And are they going to be perfect? No. Make you a card. Is this card going to be perfect the first time? No, it's not. But we do it. We, we make it better. We make it look better. We, we tweak it and we see what works. And guess what? This is how we keep going. Do you have a link to that referral card? Nope, but I got a picture of it. There's a picture of it. Go on Fiverr and tell somebody to make you a card just like that. Pay five bucks and have somebody make you a card, right? That's taking action. You know, taking action is definitely the number one thing that we need to work on. Um, we need to take action, right? If we're not taking action, nothing happens. I got stuff going all crazy on me with me showing this card. But, you know, these are some things that we can do to help us get more business. So, yard signs. If we have to, we're going to do Facebook. Um, we can do Facebook groups. If you don't have any money at all, 
If you only have $500, go buy your $100 worth of yard signs and get on Facebook. Start going live. Start doing different things. Um, thanks for that idea. I have let the slide, the SIP slide on asking for referrals. You know, this is something that, you know, I never realized how much referrals are important. And I was actually, so two people that I, so this person here, referrals is our number two, um, their number two um, money income. And um, Chris Johnson, I haven't seen him on here tonight. It's his number one. He's made over $150,000 off of referrals his re he don't get more jobs off of referrals but his average ticket off of a referral is almost like five hundred dollars more than anything else and so guess what we want to raise our prices right we want to raise our prices we want to be able to keep us growing and that's the whole purpose of us growing is so that way we can grow and we can you know make us better and we can do whatever we need to do we can we can become financial free. We can become, you know, time freedom. Those are the things that we want, right? What are the things that you want? Do you want to spend more time with your kids or do you want to spend more time on your rig? I want to spend more time on my kid, my kids. You know, I want to go watch their baseball games, their football games, their soccer games, their volleyball games. I want them to be able to do it too. So I want to be able to be financial free so that they can do that too. And so how do we do that? Well, we got to get, how do we get more jobs? What do we got to do? What, what money do we need to spend? Right? Those are the things that you need to do. You know, that, that's just what we have to do to make it happen. Um, just started promoting the gift cards, right? Try to get, you know, do, you know, um, he, the one gift card he used to give was he would tell him a steak dinner. Well, $25 don't get you a steak dinner no more. So he quit. So now he gave him a, now he gave him a quarter tank of gas instead. Um, $25 is about a quarter tank of gas. I just filled up the day. It cost me $80. So it's a third of the tank of gas. Um, so that's what it is, right? Um, trying to put out 500 a week like Moses. And that's hard, man. It's hard to put out. It's hard to put 200 signs out, right? It's hard to put out a lot of signs, but it can be done. How much do you charge for paver, sanding, and sealing? You're two bucks a foot, a square foot, a dollar fifty to two dollars a square foot. Um, because sealer is expensive and sanding sucks and it takes a lot of time. So you're about a dollar fifty to two dollars a square foot for sanding and sealing. Uh, people tell me yard signs are everywhere. The city keeps taking them and I keep putting them out. Uh, they're costing me just over 700 for a hundred and that's the cheapest I can find in Canada. Yeah, actually I was hearing what's his name talk about them and, um, that sucked. I mean, I don't know what else you can do about it. Right. Unless you bought a vinyl printer and bought the blanks, but even the blanks are probably pretty expensive, but that's what I have for it on tonight. You know, just, you know, the one thing I see that people, that one thing that I see people struggle is, you know, they quit their full-time job or they want to quit their full-time job and they don't take this as a full-time job, right? If you're not busy, you, they just think you just, if I ain't got jobs a day, I don't need to do nothing. And that's not the case. You know, that's when we got to start marketing. That's when we got to start coming up with ideas to try to get more customers. How do, maybe we need to go networking. Maybe we need to go flip rocks, right? You get yourself in a habit of these are the things that you have to do. You know, Jason has a big habit, Jason Hefner. And you know what? He's booked out into December right now. Um, and I'm like, you got to keep raising your prices, raising your prices. And he keeps getting booked out further and further. And so those are things that we have to do for, you know, to keep this going. Right. And, you know, I've been charging 15 cents a square foot. You should be 25 to 30 cents a square foot. Um, but I'm jealous of the people who are charging 18. You should be charging 20, 25. Are you going to get more no's? Yeah, you're going to get more no's, but you're going to make more money at the end of it. And that's the whole, you know, the whole goal is, is, you know, you know, a lot of people I see the goal is to get that top number as high as they can, but that top number isn't always mean that you're making money. If that bottom number, that, that bottom number is the profit number, right? If that number is not good and it's very little, then we need to make that bigger because we need to be more profitable and less taking out of money of everything coming out of there. 
What is the best way to charge to clean out gutters? Um, I always did like a $200 minimum and then I went up from there and looked at houses. Rivertown, what's up? Miss uh, Chris is in the house. What? Um, yeah. I mean, here's the thing, guys. You might think I'm crazy of not charging enough and keep raising your prices, but you can get it. You know why you don't get it? It's because you don't ask for it. You have not because you ask not. Right. And so those are some things that you have to do. You have to ask for it. Are you going to get more no's? Yes, you're going to get more no's. You're going to get, you know, I was looking through um, DJ stuff and he's at like 35%. I think Jason's at like 35, 38% close rate. Right. It sucks. But you know what? Jason's going to do 250,000 this year. Do you want to do 250,000? I only been talking about $10,000 a month, not even not twenty, thirty thousand dollars a month. Honest question. Would you recommend decreasing ad spend on Google ads during the slow month? Call volume from it has definitely slowed down despite warm enough to wash. Yeah, I would. Um, you know, if you're not in Florida, that's where, you know, if you're in Florida, that's one thing. But if you're up in, you know, Georgia and you're up north, you're a lot of times people aren't always thinking about um, doing pressure washing. So I am at 22 to 28. Um, yep. I switched to LSA ad, so you only pay per click. Metro Atlanta, yeah. So if you're in the Atlanta area, um, I probably, I know a lot of people that are in that area and, you know, Obviously, some people slow down, but not everybody slows down, um, for sure. What is it, LSA ads? Yeah, local service ads. So, if y'all have any questions how to get to 10,000, let me, I'll answer any of your questions, you know, any of that kind of thing. You know, and here's some things. What can we do right now? What? You know, one thing I would tell you to do is look back at this year. If you have already started, look at this year and see what you've done, right? Start seeing what what have you done, what what worked, what didn't work. Um, you know, I'm always about throwing mud on the wall, right? Let's throw mud on the wall and see what works. Now, once we find out what works, we don't keep throwing other mud on the wall. We, we throw the crap out of that same mud. Like if we see that, hey, yard signs are working, we're gonna we're gonna tent, we're gonna double them. You know, if I'm putting out 25 signs a week, I'm gonna go to 50 signs a week. You know, if I see Facebook ads are working, instead of twenty dollars a day, I'm going to fifty dollars a day. Um, if I see Google ads working, you know, if I'm at a hundred dollars a day, I'm going to one hundred fifty dollars a day, right? Because it's one of those things that once I see that's working, I want to do it more. Right. I want to do it more and more and more. Um, and then I'm and I will still keep throwing mud on the wall because I want to see what else works. Right. I want to see if I can find another source, because the last thing you want to do is put all your eggs in one basket, because then that causes other issues when we put all our eggs in one basket. So we want to put our, our eggs in different baskets sometimes so we don't keep just pull out of one basket. Yeah, I spend a fair amount in ads, and it clearly works in the warmer months. The past 30 days, though, clearly slowing down on those calls, trying to save if it's not producing in the slow months. First time asking anything. Well, congratulations. <laughs> What's your mindset? Hey, ask away. I love when you ask questions. Um, what's your mindset for small communities with low incomes? I am surrounded by low income, small communities. Just curious about what your target may target. Well, I guess my question is, I would want to know where you're kind of from, where you're at. What, what do you, you know, if, for instance, you know, I could say that, you know, I live in Cincinnati area. So I live in the Cincinnati area. Right. And so, if I live downtown Cincinnati or in Covington in that part of the town, there's a lot of towns that are not my customers. And I drive, I drive an hour north um, to get to a lot of my customers. Probably 60 to 70% of my customers were in the 275 loop north northeast side. 
Um, that was where my customer is. I'm literally 45 minutes to an hour away from there. And I drove up there two to three times a week because that's where my customer was. You know, could I do lower jobs here and good smaller price? Absolutely, I could have. Would I have made the same? Would I ever got to a million? No, I wouldn't have. I would have never made it to a million dollars in a year at doing low cost customers. Even when I had three, four trucks, most of them were in that 275 area, uh, that northeast side, because that's where the money was at, right? I got to go where the money is at. Now, is there, and here's the thing we don't need all the customers in the world to keep us going. You know, I just said if we can do, a, if we can find 20 people, 20 people that'll pay us $500, guess what? That's $10,000 a month. Now, where do I find those 20 people, right? And how do I get my average ticket up to $500? Well, that goes back to packages. We got to do packages. If you're not doing packages, you're leaving money on the table. And I don't want a package of 300, 400, 500, right? I want a package of 300, 700, 1,000. Or I want a package of, I want a package like Chris does. When Chris gives packages, it's a $4,000 package to every customer, right? Why do you think his average customer is 15, 14, 15, $1,800? Because he gives a people a $4,000 option, right? Because if you don't ask for that option, are you ever going to get it? No, you're not going to get it. I promise you, you won't get it. You know, if you're only given, so the other day, actually, I just had this phone call with uh, Mike. Um, he's out of Georgetown, Kentucky, and he's been in business for 17, 18 years. And so he has spent $0 in marketing. He pulled in, he normally pulls in about $300,000 a year, but he's been in business for, you know, 17, 18 years. He's got a huge customer list. And, you know, that's where he's at. And so he, he was on the phone call and he was like, um, any house under, any house under 3000 is only 359, $349. He didn't even give them an option to give them more money. Well, yeah, that's going to, that's going to kill you. If you're going to try to upsell you, it's going to hurt you, right? You're not going to be able to do it if that's what you're doing right? You're not showing value. You're not adding value. You're just like, yep, if the house, because back to what I've always said is you're just selling a house wash at that point, right? What, what are, what are, makes you different? You know, he's been in business for 18 years, but we also, I haven't seen him on here, but, um, Cynthia, Anna, right? He's, he's 22, 23 years old. The other dude's been in business as long as he's been there and he's going to do over a hundred thousand dollars in pressure washing, you know, and this is like year two. Right. And so might be year three, but it's still, it can be done. Right. That those, when you think the old ways and you don't change, guess what? It, it doesn't matter. You know, that's one thing. Who was it? Um, somebody was telling me, Oh, he was telling Mike was telling me, there's a guy down south of Lexington. So he's pretty, he's down in like Danville, down by Cumberland in that area. And the dude takes bleach and that upstreams it, puts it in a tank and sprays it right through his pressure washer. Cause he don't know no better and been doing this for years. And it's like, do you know what soft washing is? And so Mike had to explain what soft wash was. The dude's like 65 years old. He makes decent, but you know, he's doing a lot of work that he don't need to be doing. So just some things to think about. Is it better to charge by the square feet or range? An example, I like to do the range, the 1,500 to 2,000 square feet, but I'm still kind of charging off the square feet or the square feet, the square footage, and I'm going off of the higher end. So if you're at the 1,500, I'm actually charging you for the 2,000 square foot um, range. I'm not going less than that. I'm going more than that, right? I like the referral card too. I need to do that. Do it. Start doing it now. Take action, right? What are you doing to take action? Are you getting on Fiverr to take a picture of it and send it? Start taking action. Multiple people are telling me, let's wait till spring. Boo. Well, you know, there's a lot you can do in the wintertime to get your marketing. Doing blog posts, 
doing all that kind of stuff, doing Google My Business stuff. You know, so I've been, I actually did a live on it the other day, and I'm going to probably start having some videos on the websites that I do. Well, there's more stuff on the back side of that that you can do. You could literally go right now and schedule out all your posts for next year right now in the wintertime when you're not doing anything. So that way there's a post going out every day, even when you're not doing it. If twice, three times a day. You can do it three times a day. You can have posts going to your Google My Business, my Facebook, your LinkedIn, your Twitter. You could set it all up right now. So that way when next year comes and you get busy and you're like, I haven't put a post out in three weeks. Well, it's just automatic now. Bam, bam, bam. When you put out 50 yard signs on Friday, the next batch, should we they go in the same area or elsewhere? So I did it elsewhere. I, I kind of put it in like um, four quadrants, right? So this week I put them here. This Or you could do it in three. This week I put them here. This week I put them here. This week I put them here. Then I put them back here, right? And so I'm always, they're always getting hit. Now, if you ask, where did you see my sign? And you're like, there's this one corner that <laughs> that's like the money corner. You make sure that baby's up every week, every time, because you know that's the money corner, right? You know that, hey, <laughs> this right here is making me money. And that's why we want to make sure. I frequently get phone calls for just a particular service. How do you word converting that to a package? Well, ma'am, so we send all our bids out through email. And so when we send it out through email, it's going to give you three different, I don't even say that. Um, so it's going to be, um, we're going to send you three different, we're going to send you what you want. You can say three different packages. There's different ways we can word it, however you want to word it. And then we're going to send them a bid and send them three different packages, right? We want to give them all the options. We just don't want to give them one option. One option don't do us no good. I don't know if I can pull up, um, one of my things here fast enough or not. Let's see, drive. Google Drive, my drive. And I'll show you one that I like to use. And you're gonna be um, you're gonna be confused by it, but I'll tell you why I do it. Um, because it is why we do things, right? We want to make sure that we are giving them three options. We don't want to just give them one option. We don't only want to give them a three hundred dollar option. When you only give them a three hundred dollar option, guess what your average ticket's gonna be? Three hundred dollars. What happens when we give them a three thousand dollar option? What's our average ticket going to be? Fifteen hundred, right? Because people, are, some people are going to pick a fifteen hundred. Some people are going to pick three thousand, and then there's going to be some that's going to pick the bottom package, right? And so those are definitely some things that we can do to do that. Um, let me see if I can find that marketing. Uh, let me find my little slide that I got here for you. So that way you can see it. Slideshow. Uh, let me find my packages here. But this is something that you want to do. You've got to offer packages. If you're not offering packages, you're leaving money on the table. Um, and I know I preach this until I'm blue, but you got to offer packages, right? So I'm going to show you a picture here, and I want you to tell me which one is the middle package. Tell me which one is the middle package. This is what this is the game I'm going to play today. Which one is the middle package? Can anybody tell me which one is the middle package? Come on now. Which one's the middle package, right? I just offered a $350 option, a $514 option, and a $674. So they just called for a house wash, and I just uh, going to upsell them the seven hundred dollars. And this is actually a little. I like to be at a thousand dollars. However, we can get to the thousand dollars. So JG put he thinks the middle package is the five fourteen. Would anybody else agree with that? Which one's the middle package, right? So psychology tells us that people pick the middle package, right? So when people pick the middle package. That's what they're going to pick. They're going to pick the middle package. So which one is the middle package on here? Well, are you looking at it as a, are you looking at it as price is the middle package? Are you looking at it as the middle package of actually in the, the lineup, 
right? Because this would be the middle one if we're looking at it as for the lineup. And so this is what we're doing here um, for the middle package, right? This is how we're able to give middle package, the middle package or the one in the middle. Exactly, right, 100%. Which one's the middle package? So we know people... 50% of the time are going to pick the one in the middle. 25% are going to pick on one side, 25% on the other side. So these are some things that we can do to be able to get our average ticket up higher than just a, you know, a, a $400 house wash, right? We want to be able to give them an option so that they can spend a lot of money with us, right? We want to give them all of the money that they can spend with us um, so that they can spend more money with us. Because if we don't give them options, guess what? They're not going to take those options. Um, here's another um, package here. This one's a little bit harder because it's not, I don't have it centered here. But so the middle package is $1,000. So they called for a $400 house wash, $400 house wash. We gave them a $650 house wash. We gave them a $1,000 house wash, right? Because our goal is to give them a thousand to fifteen hundred dollar bid every time they call us. You know, I to get to ten thousand, I was just talking about low, you know, two hundred fifty dollar house wash. You know, DJ don't even have a two hundred fifty dollar house wash. His cheapest house wash is almost four hundred dollars, right? Cheapest house wash is almost four hundred dollars. You know, if we don't give them options. We're not going to make more money. And so that the one on the right, that that bundle is, let me look and see if I can find it here. That bundle is, um, I don't remember what it is. It's a lot. Right? So how do we give them options? That's what we want. We want to give them options. Um, we want to give them all the options that we can give them. Right. We don't want them to be like, well, I only want to give this much money. OK, we want to get you more money. That's what we want to do. Packages is king. Packages is the king of how you make more money. You know, and you can say, Jason, you're just being whatever. I'm telling you how to make money. I'm not telling you how to um, run a 503C donation type business. I'm to our nonprofit. I'm teaching you how to make money. This is that same bid. But if you go in person, this is what you can make it look like. Right now, this is through response to bid, but you could do something else. So look here. So look, we're giving them a $2,300 option. If they did a deck cleaning, gutter cleaning inspection, concrete cleaning inspection, all of it, right? We're going to give them the option to do it all. We want them to do it, but so they can call. They called us for a four hundred nineteen dollar option. We gave them a six hundred fifty dollar option. We gave them a thousand dollar option. We're going to give them options because when we give them options, guess what? That's what they want. They want options. We want to give them options. We don't want to just give them a two hundred dollar house wash and say, "Here, that's all I'm going to give you." Because guess how much money they're going to give you? Two hundred dollars. But if I give them a thousand dollar offer. You know, there's 25% of the people that are going to say, I want that one. But if we don't offer that, they're never going to pick it. What software are you use, using to be able to produce this? Um, this here is called Responsibid. If you go on to kingofpressurewash.com and go to my resource page, I have a link there that talks, it, it, it's Responsibid. Give individual prices at full rate then offer 10 percent off any two 15 percent off and that's basically what this one is so like if you look at this you know you're going to raise these prices up too you're going to raise all your prices up and then you're going to give the discount down here that if they stayed you would have saved 190 dollars right so then that way it makes them feel better um let's see those bids look different. Are these diff th This is actually the same software. Same software. They can always pick that what they want. Yep. 
Makes sense. So basically, if they call for a house wash, write up an estimate they ask for and also add include a package for house wash, driveway, gutter clean. Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. We're going to give them all. Give it all to them. We're going to we'll be the do it all sauce. We'll, we'll give it all to them. Customers are only interested in what they see. We are the professionals and should always offer everything so they know about those services. Some people literally don't want you offer, so tell them. Yeah, so they don't know what you offer, so tell them. Yeah, so it's it, that one's responsive. I think if you go to pressurewashhelp.com slash responsive, it gives, I think it's a 15 day trial or a 30 day trial. I don't remember what it is. You guys asking how to charge, just charge, do it by the square foot. You raise your prices. You need to be more than 16 cents a square foot. You need to be at 20 to 25 cents a square foot. And you need to have a minimum, like $300 minimum. So a house that's 2,000 square feet, we're not going to go out there for $199, for 1,000 square feet for $160. There's no reason to do that at all. You're losing money at that point. Um, uh, we got a spammer going. Does Marquette have options like this? They do. It's not like that, but they do have some options. Um, 2,500 square feet, what would you charge? I would be 25, 30 cents a square foot times that, whatever that is. To How quick should you take to give a quote back? As fast as you can. The faster, the better. You know, I did it basically once they called me and I had a person when I had the business, I actually had a secretary and they literally had a quote within 10 to 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. They had that quote. I look it up on there and sent it right back. I didn't wait. You can't wait. Don't give a person who was it? somebody saying they don't Half the people don't answer the phone. The other half don't give a quote once they go to get it. Um, Marquette's pretty cheap. It's like 39 bucks in time. You add some add ons. You're probably around 40 or 50 bucks. Um, I am looking for something that I can downstream that will dissolve concrete and mortar mix. I have two houses that got covered in concrete soup to customer. I don't care what it costs. I need it done. They sell stuff like that. Um, Muratic asset might be it, but I know like Russ Johnson. So you might call Russ and see what, what the chemical is and see if you can get it over there. Um, I just started up and watching your videos has been big help. Talk about awesomeness. Thank you. Um, starts at 29. It's great. Um, it does not have to my knowledge, the layout of response bid like that. Oh, response bid looks great. To be honest, it's more expensive though. Yes, it is $650. Yep. So I didn't choose. Maybe I won't give nothing away because I didn't offer it. Um, I was going to give something away. I don't even know what I was going to. I was probably whatever. You, um, let's see here. Give a GoPro away. I'm not giving a GoPro away. Um, that's not what I want. Let's see. I need this one. There we go. Um, I'm not, um, maybe next time I'll get next week. Remind me and tell me to give something away next week, Sunday. Um, I'm not going to give nothing away because it's already, I didn't, I should have been pushing it way before now. Um, for sure. So action steps. I'm going to give you some action steps. I know some of you like this here. I'm going to show it again just so if you need to get a view of it. Action step. Go make it. Go get it done. Got your QR codes on the back. Go get it done. Action codes, right? What makes you? What makes one person successful over the other one? Take an action. I'm giving you something. Go take action. Make it happen, right? That's that's the key. What? Go take action, right? Go join the membership. Go take action. Um, and I'll build you. I'll build you a website. It's got some pretty cool features that come with it. You do have to be a member of the King of Pressure Wash thing, but it is what it is. But here's the thing. Don't think that a website's going to make your business because it's not. 
A website is not going to make you business. It might make you look more professional, but it's not going to make you business. Your the website is not just going to start blowing up and making you a bunch of money. It's just not that way. Literally just booked a demo for a response of it. That looks legit. Awesome. I'll take some Christmas lights. Actually, you know what? I will give some, I will give a small, that's 300 bucks. Uh, whatever the small start, starter pack is. The 100 feet. <clears throat> I will give away a 100. So what I'll do is I'm going to start it tonight and I will give it away Sunday. I will give away a hundred foot. It's actually like 150 feet, 125 feet starter pack. Um, go to pressure, king of pressure, watch.com slash giveaway. Um, and I will give it away Sunday night. Um, so if you want to join, get on that, go fill that out and I'll give a starter pack. I will light somebody's house up for them. That's what I'm going to do for you. Um, it'll be, it'll be, um, hundred feet. I think it's hundred feet of C9s. Uh, it's like 120 feet of wire. Um, it's enough males and females and everything to do one house. Um, so I am going to light up someone's house for you. Um, but you do have to go sign up. I hope that link works. Um, but I will do it Sunday night means that it's already the end. I don't want to do it now. Um, but I will give away a starter kick. Now you all might have to remind me cause I forget, um, but I will give away a Christmas lights and I will get them shipped to you. You, whoever wins will probably have them by Monday or Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Buy one, get one. No. And you're probably not going to win because I can't ship it to you. would just get a $200 or something because I can't ship it to can't to the cross the world. After citations, GMB posting blog, is there one left boot on the ground and is the only thing left boots on the ground for winter time? Yeah. And that's another thing I'm actually going to have. Um, I'm actually going to have a guest on coming up um, talking about Google My Business. Um, Mindsaw is who I'm going to have on. Um, Brett, mine, well, from mine, Brett's from Mindsaw. Um, and so he is definitely going to be on and give some good stuff about that. I'm going to shop around for other CRM. I've had uh, over a year and I'm paying $149 roughly for the middle all jobber. Um, they want me to move up to the $200 first package. Yeah. Get it done. I joined this week. I'm pumped. I will have yours done probably tomorrow. Um, sorry for the words. I'm using voice text. I got your, I got your gist. All right, guys, go check out King of Pressure Wash .com. I have my Monday marketing has been really on fire. Um, it's pretty awesome. We're coming out with some new great things. People are helping each other and it's been amazing. Um, the next time you could do signs, help someone get jobs. You know what? I will, I will either do the lights or signs, whatever you want. Um, so go sign up king of pressure, watch.com slash giveaway. I will, I will give you the option. You can either have the lights or you can have a hundred yard signs. Um, that's what you will get. I, yeah, I bet you do need a bigger package. Tell your wife that, um, <laughs> uh, I've had people, let's see, uh, Jared Scott. I've learned people don't want to spend money in November like they did in October. Nope, you're right. How do you keep the high tickets rolling when you're approaching the holidays? If you're not, if you're up here in the north, you're doing gutter cleaning. You're doing that type of stuff. You would want gutter cleaning signs. Um, you don't really want pressure washing signs. Pressure washing signs aren't going to do you no good if you're up here in the north. Um, gutter cleaning is something that you can push and make money doing that. Um, but that's kind of where you're at. King of pressure wash. Thank you for all you do. A huge help. What else do you do for the spring? Blog posts, getting all that stuff done now is what's huge. Average Christmas light so far is around $4,000. What? You're crazy. Craziness. $4,000. First year out of the gate. Awesome. 
That's what you talk about, taking action. Taking action, taking names. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to jump off here. I have a lot to get up early in the morning, take kids to school. Um, but I hope everybody has a great night. And go to kingofpressurewatch.com slash giveaway. And I will either give 100 yard signs away or I will give you a um, the Christmas light package, whatever one you want. Um, but other than that, I hope you all have a great night and we'll see you all later.